Christmas Eve is tomorrow. That means before going to bed, you're going to have to leave some cookies for Santa, right? Yeah, but you do not want to give Santa just plain, plain, boring cookies. We want exciting, cool, wonderful Christmas cookies. So joining us this morning to help decorate cookies and make sure that Santa does not skip our homes is Chef Taylor Brockenshire from uh, the Townsend Hotel, the executive pastry chef, mm -hmm. and you brought your children with I us. I did. I brought Holly and Sage today to help me out here. Right. Thank you for coming. We're excited about We're glad this. Glad to be here. So what goes into these cookies? These are sugar cookies? These are sugar cookies, yes. This is um, a sugar um, dough. It's basically butter and powdered sugar All right. whipped up light. It's got eggs and flour and a little baking powder to help them rise. And the secret behind this is after you make it, you want to let it chill at least for two hours so you can work on it and roll it a little bit easier. If you so do room it right temperature away, dough, not good. No, it sticks. It it's a mess. Dough. Yeah, it can spread in the oven. It's just much harder to work with it. It has to chill and relax. And do you just do it on the counter with a, a little flour? A little flour, yeah. Okay. Generous flour amount so it doesn't uh, stick to the bottom. And also flour on top when you roll it out nice and even. Okay. Yeah. And you know you have uh, some cookie presses here to give us some great shapes. I do. Okay, go on. I brought yeah. the, the kids' favorite cutter here. We got a bell and we got a little ginger man. All right, girls, show yeah. us how it's so done. So go ahead and get it on there, girls, and push down. Little chefs. Yeah, and you give it a little side to side. Okay, a little twist wiggle, there, wiggle. And it comes out. Yeah. Okay. And then what you do is you just have your baking sheet ready to go. Mm -hmm. And you do put parchment paper on the bottom. Of you, yours? you do. If you don't, they can stick. Some people can. You can okay. use a Teflon pan and give it a little spray so it doesn't okay. stick, and it's just as good. All right. And remember, not, when you do put these on, don't put them too close because they do spread a little bit. Yeah, and you as don't you want can them all see, interconnected. Right. We have some finish here. Very nice. Yeah, so okay. I'm just going to go ahead and move this up, and we're going to let the kids. And how long do you usually bake them, and at what temperature? Yeah, mm -hmm. 350 degrees, anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. Each oven's different, so just sure. put the light on. And when they're nice and golden brown like this, they usually get a little dark on the edge, a little brown on the bottom. They're done. Okay. Yeah, you let them cool. What are so, some of the common mistakes people make when they're doing cookies? Is it like overcooking? Because I would look at those and go, they might be done. Usually forgetting them in the oven. I mean, these are pretty easy to do. I mean, if you follow the instructions and plan ahead, they're really easy to do. It's probably one of the easier cookies to do. Now, and I girls, think I've made the, yeah, go for it. You go ahead and start. I made the mistake of starting to decorate them when they were too warm. Yes, yes. But I still wanted all the, the good stuff to stay on top. So what's the tip there? You know, what we do at the Towns is we actually dip the cookies. Oh. Um, we, we get this, as you can see, the consistency is a little soft. Um, there's two ways of making this icing. You can use milk or water and powdered sugar. It's important to sift the powdered sugar so you don't get lumps. Uh, okay. And then you just add a little liquid at a time until you get the consistency you want. Um, for the kids, I like to have them, you know, some creativity and spread it on. But you can also take the cookie if you're doing a lot and dip them in. Dip the whole puppy in there. Yep. Okay. Just on the first layer, and then you can just scrape the edge and, as it comes down. And you said milk, sugar, no, or, and water. Or water. Either milk or water. Okay. Yeah. Does it matter if it's whole milk or skim milk? No. Nope. It really doesn't. Nope. Okay. Doesn't matter at all. And these are the uh, finished products. Uh, they are. And yeah. they're. Can I take a bite? Yeah, help yourself. All right, so these are the finished these? products. Mm -hmm. These are so beautiful. I love the sprinkles on top. Mm -hmm. It's the kids' yeah. favorite part Wonderful. is the sprinkles. Oh, delicious. All right, well, thank you so much for, uh, for joining us, Chef. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Chef Taylor. Thank you. Chef Taylor. This and <laughs> Thank you so much. Holly and, and Sage, you. Yeah, the little chef. Good job. When we come back, we're going to have our mom's a genius. She has a, uh, a bake shop right here in Southfield, and it's a dream come true for her. And when you see her creations, you're going to know why Joanne Purton sings. She is a genius. We'll be right back. Del